Hello, I am Yaromir Visogot. I am an intern at Red Hat and let me introduce you to a project I am working on, which is using Lokin to collect and store logs from OpenStax in Loki. You might ask yourself, why do we need to do that? Well, let me first briefly tell you what OpenStack actually is. It's a cloud operating system which controls pools of bare metal machines, virtual machines and containers. And each of them produces a lot of logs. It would be quite inconvenient if you had to check logs on each of the machines separately. So that's why we collect the logs from each individual OpenStack machine and transport them to a common storage. What do we use for that common storage? We use a log aggregation system called Loki, which inspired the name of our project Loki. Let's finally take a look at how all this works and what exactly Loki does. On the client side, we use rsyslog on each of the OpenStack machine to collect its logs and put them on a common bus which transfers them to OpenShift which acts as server side for our project. On the server side, we use our component called sgbridge to take the logs from the bus and make them available for login. Login parses the logs and sends them to Loki for storage. But what is it good for to just store the logs, right? After we store the logs, we can then use tools like Grafana, which allows us to query Loki and find exactly the logs that we need. Here you can see I specified the cloud name and the command I want to look at, and over here I got exactly what I wanted. And if we connect it to our other project called STF, we can then easily use Grafana to look at corresponding events and metrics for each log too. So, now that I explained you how everything works, let me show you a short demo of the project. Here, I configured uh, code-ready containers with uh, AMQP bus. I also have Lokien running and I have Loki there. And I'm gonna be using this machine instead of OpenStack uh, just to make it a little bit easier. Over here you can see, see the uh, rsyslog configuration. It's sending logs through the bus uh, to, to Lokian. So let's try to generate some logs. We can do that, for example, by uh, typing sudo and failing to authenticate. And this should send logs to uh, Lokian and through that to Loki and we should be able to see them in Grafana. Inside Grafana, we can choose the Explore option. And as you can see, I have the Loki, Loki N selected and we can query for the logs. I have this machine named as Cloud, Cloud1 so let's see what we get as you can see we get a lot of logs even from only one machine so thankfully we can specify the query and if we search for only sudo we get exactly the logs that we are looking for I showed you how Lokian works and how it might be used to make viewing OpenStack logs easier. I hope you liked the talk and thank you for your attention.